Hey folks, welcome back to another episode of D-Race Garage where today, as you may have figured out, we're gonna take a look at this Racing PDK Paddle Shifter Extension Set. Now, I realize there's a lot out there. These are not the least expensive out there, but they may be the best feeling and best looking. I actually picked these up from Flat Six Motorsports, so thanks John for putting me onto these. And then in the box, you've got the little racing story. Um, I actually own the shifter. They own a, sh uh, uh, they produce a shifter and they produce a, a little uh, doohickey. You can maybe, no, you can't see that, but on the front of my Porsche over there, I also have a tow hook, which has a GoPro mount, which uh, for anyone that wants to capture higher speed moving footage, there's nothing quite like it. So there's the, let's come in there. It's a very nice packaging here. There is an install guide. If you just uh, wanna click on that QR code there, you could do that. Or you could watch the rest of this video, which shouldn't be all too long. You can see here we have our plus and minus, upshift, downshift. I chose black. I think they do a couple of other colors. I know at least they make red. They may also possibly make an aluminum color, but I'm not 100% sure on that. And for me, having driven the Stelvio Quadrifoglio, what really drew me in um, to these was the fact that on that Stelvio, it had some really nice, big, flappy kind of paddles. And as you'll see later on, if you don't know already, the Macans are basically this size and fairly subtle and discreet in nature. So I think this will enhance the feel, enhance the drive, and should be a pretty fun deal. So inside the package here, in addition to, give you a good look at these, beautifully carved metal. It's got some, uh, I'm not sure they'll come out on here, but very nice little smooth ridges, uh, very perfect finish, very clean. And obviously, uh, one to go down the gears, one to go up in the gears. The procedure is essentially uh, inserting these uh, tapes or adhesive strips, which are all preset, pre-cut. So you've even got the little cutouts there for where it's gonna have to conform to the shape within the paddle here. And then from there, we'll do the prepping of the paddles within the Macan using a cleaner here. And then in addition to that, there's an adhesion promoter we'll put on just before we attach uh, these paddles onto the car. So first of all, what I wanna do is get uh, the adhesive part set in here and get this all set up. So when I'm in the car, essentially it's clean and stick. So uh, we'll start with the plus over here. Not sure I've dropped that in very well. Let's uh, take another pass at that. It feels a lot better. So as you can see, I probably am a little bit low on this piece, but nice and set up into the the shape over here. I'm uh, I'm gonna let it ride. I'm gonna let it ride. And then the the trick is to really obviously get a lot of depression in here to make sure the adhesive strip is conforming completely. And then obviously by pushing down like this and applying a lot of pressure, what you are doing is getting some heat into that and hopefully starting the adhesive to set up. So just work this over for a minute. I'll fast forward for you. Okay, so you can see now we've got the strips installed. There's a little bubble here. So I'm not sure if that's gonna give me any guff or not, but I think we'll be okay. And then we wanna take a sharp knife and score just through the protective layer of this and right down the middle of the tab here so we can actually get this off. I think if we don't do that, these tend to be pretty 
uh, difficult to peel. And so if you just kind of prep yourself like that, hopefully you can make that out. It's got a little split in the middle. When it comes to removing these, it should go a little easier. All right, so I think they're both cut okay. And so now we'll move over to the car, clean up the paddles and put these on. Hopefully it should be pretty clean. All right, so we're over at the car now. So we're gonna take our prep pads. I'm assuming you know the paddles are right here. Like I said, pretty discreet. And uh, that should be quite a change when we're all said and done. Don't need to wipe the fronts here, obviously, because that's not where we're gonna be installing these, but definitely wanna get these backs good and cleaned up, get all that COVID off of there. And obviously this is an alcohol pad, so the moisture should just flash off very quickly. And then next we have this adhesion promoter, which I've uh, no, never used one of these before, so. Oh, look at that. Little spongy dude. So we'll just coat the back here. And then on this side, hope my fingers don't stick to it. Probably don't want to put it on anything else in the car. Put it back in there for now. Oh yeah, definitely promoting some stickiness on my fingers. It's got a cool odor. So as you'll remember, we split this. And hopefully you can do the math of connecting the minus to the minus over here. Just have it sitting in there. Just kind of fits like a glove, as they would say. And then you just want to pull nice and firmly back to front or front to back with my sticky fingers. I should use the alcohol pad to clean those off. In fact, that's what I'm going to do. Here. Then I'm going to grab this towel just to make it easier to grab on nice and firm pull towards you. I won't make you wait the full minute, but you want a good full minute. So again, that glue can set up and start to cure. So here's your side by side. So you can kind of check out what it looks like with, where you can really see where around the wheel now you're gonna have much better access to that and the black, yes, you could argue red would stand out more, but there's just more of a black motif in this car. So obviously you should pick your own poison. And then let's get this other one ready to go. So just that little pull down there. Can use the extremities very comfortably. You can see how the shifters aren't moving or pu pulling away from the OEM paddles. And uh, I'll get you some glamour shots too so you can kind of see what's cooking. But yeah, the short and tall of it is, now you can drive fast. There's 50 horsepower we just added to the car there in five minutes or less. Pretty cool, huh? All right, folks, thanks for checking in. Be memorable, be well and I hope to catch you on another video soon.